Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I was tagged by Heather at Heather Reads to do the hot or not tag. What it is, is you've got an item for each letter of the alphabet. It's a topic or a genre, something book related, and you give your reaction. You call it hot or not. And you're supposed to do this in um, relatively quick succession, not overthinking each answer. Um, I did watch Heather's video, so I don't know if that counts as overthinking it, but uh, I haven't, I watched her video over two days, so I, um, you know, I've, I've had a little bit of time since the beginning questions, so um, hopefully this will be sufficiently rapid fire. Um, the word hot is not one I use, <laughs> it's not really my vocabulary in the way I think uh, the tag makers uh, intended. But what I do have here is a cup of hot chocolate. So we are going to enjoy the best kind of hot, am I right? In the form of hot chocolate. And uh, this should be fun. I just, I love tags. I don't get tagged a lot, but I, I'm excited to do this. All right, so first one here. We have audiobooks. I'm gonna say not. Um, audiobooks, I like them. I really like them in certain contexts if I'm in a road trip or something, but generally I don't gravitate towards them. I mean, I'm not saying I dislike them, I just don't. I don't love them. My mind tends to wander when I listen to audiobooks, and uh, I, I want to love them more than I do, I guess, but I, that's just not something I, something I use much. Um, B, Bildungsroman. So, this is like a coming of age story. I really like them. I'm not saying they're all equally great or anything, but I generally do like coming of age stories. Um, Jane Eyre comes to mind, very famous example. Uh, Beneath the Wheel by Hermann Hesse. I loved that one. So uh, yeah, hot. Um, C, children's books. I do like children's books. Um, I don't read them that often. I read a lot growing up, obviously, and have a lot. I have like a whole shelf of children's literature. I don't think I've shown yet. Some of it's stuff, stuff from my parents' house and some of it's stuff I've bought since, like uh, Watership Down. <laughs> Heather will appreciate that one. Um, yeah, hot. I like, I like children's books. Uh, would like to read them more, actually, but I just don't prioritize them, I guess. Um, D for digital. Yes, I love digital books. Um, I read a lot of ebooks, and especially from Project Gutenberg or the library. It's just a really great way to um, get access to classics and other books pretty quickly. I just, I think they're great. Um, I remember when ebooks first came out, I wasn't like I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was a late adopter, I wasn't really an early adopter either, but I did get, I think, the first Nook e-reader that Barnes & Noble put out, so, um, and I read a lot of classics on that. E for experimental. I do like experimental fiction, not all of it. This is Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu. I read this a couple years ago, I think, and it's basically a a story about the Chinese American experience, but through the lens of this guy who wants to be an actor. But the book itself is told kind of in, like as a script. So it's it's really good. Um, I had some quibbles with it, but overall really great book to the extent that I did buy a copy of it. So I really do enjoy experimental fiction when it's done like that. Um, you know, maybe there's certain books that might be too experimental even for me, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of lukewarm. Let's say lukewarm for experimental because I, I like the idea. I, I don't know what I've read enough to give a more solid opinion. Um, Where were we? F for fantasy. I'm going to say not. That's not to say I don't like fantasy. I enjoyed The Lord of the Rings, Chronicles of Narnia. I guess Alice in Wonderland is a type of fantasy, but the fantasy genre is not one I really read or want to read. There's just so much exposition in it and I just don't enjoy that so much. Don't really enjoy tons of world building. <laughs> so I'm gonna say not. Uh, G for graphic novel. 
Um, I'm gonna say hot, but it depends. Like, I haven't read a lot of graphic novels, but I'm reading one right now. It's actually a historical graphic novel about uh, Japanese internment. Very heavy topic. Um, and actually the second graphic novel I've read on that topic. But the first one was excellent. The first one was George Takei. Takei? Takei? I'm so sorry, I should know how to pronounce his name. The first one was his memoir, and this one's written by some other people, but um, I think graphic novels can be a great vehicle for examining even these heavy topics, and also in a way that can reach multiple generations. So everyone from like tweens to, you know, my age and older, so yeah. You know, I'm actually going through this much slower than I think the tag intended, so I'll see if I can pick it up here a little bit. Um, H for horror. You know, it really depends what kind of horror. I think Lovecraftian horror is a yes. Um, I don't like, like, gruesome or perverse horror, so, you know, Stephen King would probably be a no. I'm gonna say not, but it's not to say I don't like any horror, it just kind of depends what type of horror it is. I for inspirational. I'm gonna say not. Um, there's, there's certainly exceptions, of course, but I don't generally go for inspirational books. Um, yeah, it just doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> Maybe I'm too, too much of a Scrooge. Um, J for journalism. Uh, journalism can be really good. Um, I'm gonna say hot. I don't read a lot of it, but I, I do like it. K for kitsch. I don't really know what kitsch is. Um, what, what exactly would that be? Would that be kind of like a cult classic or something kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna say not, but I'm not exactly sure what this is. L for library. Well, I do love libraries. Right with you there, Heather. Um, I grew up in a library. <laughs> not not literally, but, um, well, I grew up in my parents' library and we went to the library every single week. Um, I don't go as often as I used to, but I do love libraries. M for mystery. Yes, I love mysteries. I'm gonna say hot. I don't read them as much as I used to. I had a whole Agatha Christie phase when I was like 12, and read so many of her books. I still enjoy Sherlock Holmes, and I'm rereading the series right now. Um, I enjoy mysteries. Um, just, I don't know. Don't read them as much, but I, I do like them. Nonfiction, yes, hot. Omnibus, now, I'm not exactly sure what that refers to. Uh, if it's referring to like reading all of the works of an author or a complete series, uh, generally lean towards it, or at least I have in the past, but I don't know, when it comes to finishing series, I've become a lot more uh, like picky. <laughs> when I was a kid, I would just finish a series whether I was really enjoying it or not. Like I just had this mindset that I needed to finish it, but not as much anymore. I'm gonna say hot, but Kind of more lukewarm again. Uh, poetry. I love poetry. That's definitely hot. Quests. So the character is in search of something or on a mission. I would say hot. Romance. I don't really like romance genre. In fact, I actually really don't. Um, I like romance and literature if it's done really well. So I'm gonna say not because I think I'm guessing the tag is talking about genre, romance. Um, science fiction. I'm gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> Haven't read enough to say. I highly enjoyed Jules Verne and H.G. Wells and kind of that more speculative science fiction, kind of more old-fashioned and quaint but I haven't really read a lot of modern science fiction. And again, so much of it involves this heavy exposition and world building that I just don't enjoy. Um, so I don't know, I love science fiction films though. So maybe science fiction as a phase is in my future, but I'm gonna say not for now.
with caveats that I already mentioned. Translation, T for translation, is hot. Been reading a lot of translated works for reading the world, and I love it. It's It's been great. We are currently reading um, Noli Me Tangere by Jose Rizal. Really good so far from the Philippines. So I'm re I'm just really enjoying all these uh, all these works I didn't even know about before. Uh, you for Ubermensch or Super Superman kind of books. I mean, I'm gonna say not. I really don't think Sherlock Holmes falls into that. Maybe someone would say he does, but I don't know. I don't gravitate towards those kinds of stories. So I'm gonna say not. V for Victorian. Definitely hot. W for Western. I don't know yet. I haven't read enough Westerns to say. I'm gonna probably say not. But that could change. X for X-rated. Not. Y for young adult. I have read a few young adult novels in the past, but it's not really my thing, so not. Z for zeitgeist, or spirit, or mood of the times. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this refers to. I know there have been a few books re written, especially in recent years, that are intended to kind of encapsulate a time period or a particular you know, place. I'm thinking, I want to say that um, Anthony Dewar has written a book like that recently. And I, I feel like there's others as well, but just this kind of snapshot in time. I I don't know. I don't love a lot of historical fiction. Haven't tried a lot of it either, so I'm gonna say not, but I I could be I could be mistaken on that, so that's the list. Um Yeah, this was cool. I think you know I think it really kind of makes me well, there's two things that are kind of going on in my mind right now. One is that classic literature actually does span a lot of these genres because before there was genre fiction, there was just fiction. Um, so the, the types of books from these categories I tend to like is just that, that older stuff. <laughs> um, but also, I would like to be a little more well-read in some of these especially science fiction, because like I said, I love a good science fiction film. So I think it'd be neat to read a bit more of it. But I don't know. I like a little bit more of a lighter hand when it comes to the world building and stuff. So I'm still more drawn to some of the older generation of science fiction where it just wasn't as in depth that way so yeah um thanks for watching i am not going to tag anybody this time but if you're watching this and you think it would be fun to do and you have a channel please go for it and let me know if you do it and i'll see you all soon bye